So we reach Good Friday in our reflections. There are, of course, any number of paintings you could be looking at now. But I love this one by Craigie Aitchison, painted in 2008, shortly before his death. I like it because it doesn't just show the event, it doesn't just major on the reality of the gore or the effect on those watching. This painting shows what the crucifixion is all about. Simple blocks of colour show the mood of the day. The sky darkened. The foreground a blood red desert. Yet the details, so full of passion. Maybe just focus on one for your reflection today. The poppy glows red on red. Poppies only grow where the ground has been broken. By artillery fire in the First World War. Or here, by the immensity of the sun of Earth's death. The purple, iridescent, shows the Lenten shadow of Christ's journey to the cross. The green hints at new life, the fullness of hope that is growing. The skeletal Holy Spirit, impoverished, desperate. The effect on God's community of Trinity. As one part suffers so and is removed from the home. In our e a week of reflections on love, there is so much in that. And the rainbow, God's covenant, still present. Though an absurd play of light in the lightless shadow of the sky. And of course, Christ's body itself. Maybe the glow recalls the transfiguration. It is pure love, passion, burning. A fire of all the energy of love doing love's work. Love so strong that not even death will snuff it out. And here is what the crucifixion means. The very darkest, cruelest, most oppressive assault on life faces the unlikely repelling by love. This painting shows that Christ, with the weight and burden of the world's shadow and sin, around and within, will conquer with a love and a passion that will always be stronger.